Well, did you fill up on turkey gravies? dressing, stuffing, whatever you call it, maybe some mashed potatoes. Well, the good news is no matter how much you ate, there are some quick and easy exercises you can do to feel guilt free today. And personal trainer Benjamin Ryan from Greensboro's Workout Anytime joins us via Zoom this morning to walk us through all these ideas. So it's not that bad. There are some small things everyone can do at home or at the gym to work off all that food. Okay, Benjamin, I have to ask first, are you full from yesterday like me? I'm definitely so full, Stacey. Yeah, so I think everyone's waking up maybe feeling a little guilt. Well, what can we do about it? Um, there are some really easy home exercises that you can do while we're all social distancing and everything just to stave off those holiday pounds. <clears throat> um, if you uh, are a fan of cranberry sauce like me, about a quarter cup is 37 calories. That's the equivalent of about 60 push-ups. And if you're doing these at home and you need to break them up, you definitely can make it easier for yourself. Uh, gravy, also a quarter cup, is 45 calories. That's about 50 burpees. Um, if you add some red wine, uh, I know I definitely did last night, um, six ounces, just sort of a normal glass of red wine is 150 calories. So you can go on a nice, easy walk after that for about 35 minutes. That'll burn off the calories from that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, stuffing or dressing, depending on whatever you like to call it. <laughs> uh, half a cup of that is going to be a little higher, about 150 calories. So you can do, um, sorry, 180 calories, excuse me. So you can do some stair running, you know, run some stairs either at your home or at a park or something for about 10 minutes. Uh, wouldn't suggest that one after the wine, uh, but definitely good after stuffing. Um, and then the last one I'll tell you is uh, sweet potato casserole. Um, a half a cup of that is gonna be about 200 calories. A Little more if you like to add in any fixings or sweets or anything to that. So that would be squats for about 15 minutes. Now that's just body weight or air squats. Um, and again, you know, if you need to break that up over time, these are good little exercises to do, you know, here and there a few times throughout the day, kind of keep things moving, keep your metabolism high and just help to uh, burn some of those calories so we can continue to enjoy and indulge. Okay, so you're saying that today, after I have leftovers, I need to repeat everything again, right? <laughs> exactly, just do it all over again. And then um, I don't even want to know what pecan pie would be because I definitely might have had that for breakfast this morning. Um, yeah, so I, probably a big workout after that too. Probably a few of those together, yeah, definitely. Well, before I let you go, um, any more advice for people at home that you know they're trying to think of what they can do to burn off some of those calories today? Uh, I mean, definitely, you know, if it's, you know, unfortunately it's a little raining now, but do get outside, get some fresh air, you know, do some activities if you're able to. Just important as we all are, you know, not going out as much to stay active. Again, even if it's just a walk, you know, throw a ball around in the yard or something of that nature, um, play with the dog, just to keep active and make sure you're not sort of just sitting and stagnating as we are, you know, enjoying all these treats for the holidays. Great advice, Benjamin. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much, Stacey. Of course, and we'll, I'm sure, be tuning back into you come uh, January because everyone's going to have those New Year's goals, right?